Do you like me now? Do you like me now? Do you really like my style? So do you like me now? Do you really like my style? Do you like me now? Do you really like my style? I can hold you down, baby. I'ma be around. Show you a couple of things, baby. I can make you see. Wait, 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 wait. Make sure you hit that bell so that way you are notified of all new videos. Wait, did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? <laughs> all right, enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's your girl Neek D and I'm here to give you guys an update since the last video, which was the titled I have hydrocephalus video brain surgery question mark video well there is no question mark um, I do have to get brain surgery um, and I did get a second opinion from a pen neurosurgeon um, aside from the Thomas Jefferson neurosurgeon and they both are in agreement that I do need um, a brain surgery and I say both meaning not together meaning separately um, I got my own independent um, opinion because I just decided you know like with anything else like talking to family and everything I do need another opinion um, this is not a regular surgery um, this is not I'm um, getting my elbow fixed or you know my eye or anything like this is like definitely serious so I wanted to make sure I was you know going you know to somebody you know that was top-notch so I did do some research and I did look up and see that Penn was one of the top and it seemed that Penn was a little more higher than Thomas Jefferson and I could be wrong but when I looked online it looks as the numbers as though it had Penn a little higher than Thomas Jefferson so I went to Penn and I spoke to this doctor and we and I say we it's meaning my family, my mom, my dad, and John, we all liked this doctor. So not to say that the other doctor wasn't good. We just, we under, we walked away feeling better about this one. We were more educated about what was going on with, with my, my brain. Um, he explained it a little bit more and he made me feel like I had a chance. If <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, he did explain even more about the thing that was in the, in the center of my brain it wasn't a tumor. He said it was called aqueductal, uh, aqueductal ductal. I'm sorry, I'm trying to explain it the best way I can, pronounce it the best way I can, web, which is not a tumor. So praise the Lord. Um, that is not a tumor, so we don't, we don't have to worry about anything like that. Um, we're going to keep obviously an eye on that and watch that, but from the looks of it, um, it is a blockage which is the reason for um a part of the reason for besides the fluids and all that building up but a lot of the slurring that i might be having with me talking because i do slur sometimes my words or i can't seem to like figure out what's going on when i'm talking like wait a minute what was i just saying like my memory or try to like piece the words together um, basically that's the reason why I have been acting and thinking, right? <laughs> so he basically expressed that to me. Um, he also explained why my legs were feeling like heavy. Um, it's because of the, the, the fluid, the CSF, um, cerebral spinal fluid, um, has been, um, you know, he showed, showed it to us in my brain and it and showed it, you know, down my, my spine and he said that, that is connected obviously so my spine just connected down all the way down and then and since it's not it the waste it's when you it has to recycle you know when it's in there it has to somehow come out and if it's not being you know coming out it, it builds up and and that's creating that heavy feeling in my legs apparently so i guess that's why i've been feeling that way having that tingle in my legs when i feel faint and feel like i can't walk um so the next step for me is I haven't I have so many appointments it's crazy I have to like write everything down on my calendar um little marker board and in my phone just in case I have an appointment to get my pre-op which is an operation um you know appointment which is like 
your blood work, everything you need done before your operation, your blood work, your EKGs, and all this stuff to make sure this is what's going on before surgery so we know how your body is before surgery. So that way if anything shall happen, praise God that it doesn't, but if anything shall happen, we know what your body was like. Um, and then after that appointment, I have a, what else? Ooh, there's so many appointments. What else? I have MRI. I have to do, do another MRI. And I think this is in conjunction to my eye doctor appointment. So the MRI appointment is to take a second look at my brain. I guess for them to, to get their MRI imaging. Because the MRI that I had was from my neurologist that she ordered. But this is from my neurosurgeon now. So now he's ordering one. And he wants to see what's going on. And that way when they see it, my eye doctor, my um, neuro ophthalmologist, because it's not just ophthalmologist, it's a neuro ophthalmologist. <laughs> He's going to look at it that very day that I'm getting the, the MRI. No, no, no. Another day. <laughs> He's going to take that and he's going to look at it and he's going to see my eyes because apparently the CSF, the cerebral spinal fluid, has gotten to the back of my eyes and is affecting it. And we don't want me to, down the line, have any type of blindness or anything like that. So, and lately, like I said, I've been having a lot of watery, um, my eyes have been watering. And also when I have those episodes where I throw up, when I've had those episodes and I've been throwing up and having headaches, I had double vision and couldn't see that well when I was driving. Not couldn't see at all, but couldn't see that well. So they're going to check on my eyes, make sure everything's okay with that, and that I don't have papa, what is it, papula, papa, papiledema? Papiledema. I think that's what it's called, papiledema. Yeah. So they're going to make sure I don't have that. So, yeah. It's a lot of things, <laughs> a lot of crazy pr pronunciations or crazy things to pronounce. Uh, basically, after that, I do have a surgery date. I got the letter in the mail from my insurance um, saying I've been approved for my surgery. So I am getting my surgery done. Um, so this is really happening. Um, I can say that I'm excited um, that I'm getting it done, but I'm very nervous. Um, I'm happy because I want to, like, kind of get the show on the road and start to, like, improve. But I'm nervous because I've been adding myself to these groups on Facebook. And these guys have been awesome. There's so many people on there. Everybody that has been commenting on things when I've been asking them questions, by the way, I want to say a big thank you. Because they've been so much help. Y'all don't even know. Like, everybody who's been telling me about their beautiful children. They've been dropping these pictures of their beautiful kids. I don't want to say their names. I don't know if they're too comfortable with me putting their information out there on there. You know, they might want to be private. But they know who they are. And, they, you know, the people who said they've been looking at my videos. They said, oh, they, you know, that they're, they're creeping on my YouTube page. They know who they are. But <laughs> they have been awesome. They have been completely open and upfront about their experiences about what they've been going through and I'm jumbling all over the place but I want to say I, they've been great and they've been giving me a lot of insight on you know they, their experiences with them getting the surgeries um, and I say surgeries because when you have hydrocephalus a lot of times most uh, seems like most of the time is multiple surgeries but they've been telling me about their experience or their children's experiences with the multiple surgeries. Um, so it, it's been, it's been, I've been getting a lot of information. So basically I'm nervous about it and I want to get the show on the road because I want to get, you know, get to know my body and figure this out and see if this is really going to do something and to know wh what I need to do and just to figure this out because <sighs> I'm just tired of the tiredness. I, I want to get off this medicine that I'm on. I just want to start living. I want to start my life. 
um, Jonathan's tired of this too. He wants me to just, you know, be off this medicine. We both want to just start our lives together. We have so many plans. We are ready to just go on our our next trip and start living our life to get our lives together and just be happy. We have big plans for this year that you guys hopefully, you know, if you subscribe, you will see what the next plans that we have and the little plans we have for the future. But you gotta be subscribed to find out. <laughs> But this is kind of like throwing a little a wrench in it. But that's all right. God has been watching over, and I feel like He He's He's shown me, you know, we could we can handle this. So I didn't think I could at first, but we got this. So <sighs> basically, I have a surgery day, and I wanted to let you guys know. And if you guys could please keep me in your prayers, cause I'm a nervous wreck right now <laughs> not gonna lie i am a nervous wreck i n i have i've had surgeries before like meaning like okay not even surgery well i'm alive i had one surgery before i had a, a benign tumor taken away from my 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 breast y'all that ain't nothing that took like no time at all okay this is a brain surgery <laughs> i don't want to do it but i want to get it over with so <sighs> I said to myself, if I ever had to have surgery, let it be something, Lord, that's not that big. And then, Lord Jesus, Lord, come on now. Come on. This is a joke, Lord. <laughs> no, but I know it got to be done. And I'm just glad it's this and not nothing major because it could be something crazy. It, it could be something crazy. But I really do like this neurosurgeon. He is awesome. I am so, if anybody could do my surgery, I want it to be him. I am so happy. He, he is very, uh, very smart, very educated, obviously for him to be a brain surgeon. I would hope he would be. Um, but he's also very, he has good bedside manner. Um, he just makes us feel very comfortable. Um, had, had some jokes that was cracking us up. And even when I Googled him and looked him up, of course, you know, I, I'm a creeper myself, so I was still Googling and looking him up and YouTubing him. And he still just made me feel even through the screen. Like, I was like, oh, this dude is really fun. You know what? I don't mind him doing my surgery. You know, you could go to my skull. You're a, you're a good guy. You know, I just felt like, you know, he was a good person for me, for him to, you know, I, I just felt good about it. So, I felt better about this neurosurgeon so i'm happy that we I, I did get a second opinion um so i'm just nervous and we have the date so i'm not gonna i already have 12 minutes wow this is enough but i just want to say thank you guys for your kind comments thank you guys um for subscribing because i see you guys have subscribed um and yeah i'm doing the surgery Lord Jesus, please stick with me, y'all, for this journey, because I'm about to freak out. Lord. Lord. This is really happening. All right. Well, gotta go. I guess this is going down. <laughs>